But let's get to the basic accounting equation. So now we're looking at our first bit of accounting. Got my dry erase board here, which will be useful to us as we go through the course. Let's just draw out the basic accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Okay, so this is our basic accounting equation. It always has to be in balance. Assets on the left side, liabilities and owner's equity on the right side. So think about this. Um, let's just go ahead and define the terms first. An asset is anything you own. A liability is anything you owe, and owner's equity is the residual. So if you have $10,000 cash um, as an asset, the liability you owe somebody $5,000, what's left over is your ownership piece for $5,000. Um, now, pages, I believe, 13 through 17 uh, give some excellent examples of how this work. We'll look at some entries. Um, in those sections, but like think about that. What if you uh, purchase a building uh, with a mortgage and you paid, um, so the building is worth $20,000, you paid $10,000 cash and you took out a loan for 10. Let's look at an example of that. Well, what's the building worth? It's worth 20, so our asset goes up here. Now we paid cash of 10, so cash is an asset that's going to go down, and a liability, we took out a liability for 10. So that went up. So what's the net of this? It went up 10, that went up 10, so our equation is, is in balance. So uh, those are examples, that's just one example of the uh, transactions that are listed in the book. Hopefully you look at that and make sure you understand how this fundamental equation is always in balance, assets, liabilities, owner's equity. No matter what type of transaction you have, this will always be the case. Okay, let's look at the uh, four different types of uh, financial statements, the last page of the study guide. Uh, the first one is an income statement. Now, revenues minus expenses equals net income, or if expenses are greater, then you have a net loss. That's essentially what the income statement is. Now, revenue and expenses, when we talked about uh, the basic accounting equation, we had assets equals liability plus owner's equity. Let's get back to this owner's equity piece. There are different types of accounts under here. So we said an asset is anything you own, a liability is anything you owe. Owner's equity is the kind of piece that's left over. But underneath here, we have some different types of accounts. So the first one would be like common stock where somebody purchases stock into a company. This is like contributed capital. And these are all listed on the second page of the study guide. Retained earnings are the net income or net loss that are kept in the company. And then we also have revenue expenses in addition to like dividends, we'll put that over here. We'll get back to all these uh, as we go through workshop too. So don't worry about those if you are having trouble now. But revenue and expenses are a type of owner's equity piece that all roll up into this piece right here. So our revenue and expenses piece from our um, owner's equity, this essentially is the foundation for our income statement. Now the same in retained earnings is looking at this retained earnings piece and just looking at the transactions that affect the, the from the beginning to the ending of retained earnings. This is the second type of financial statement that is listed. I believe it's page 19. I'm not sure on the actual pages, but there's examples of all four of these type transactions uh, listed. So that's the second one. Um, the third one, let's look at the, uh, the balance sheet. The balance sheet is essentially our basic accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And the balance sheet is always the last day of the period. So we would say like 12, 31, 2010. What is our assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at that period? We're doing a snapshot. So if we were looking at this along a timeline, this is the easiest way to understand this, we would have a balance sheet right there at 12-31-2010 at that particular date. Now the other three, income statement, statement of retained earnings, and the last one is a statement of cash flows, which just centers in on cash. What type of account or what type of a item is cash? Well, that is an asset. It's something you own. So the statement of cash flows is just going to focus on the changes in cash. The three outside of the balance sheet would be over a period of time. So this would be January 1st over here. Here would be 1231. So for these, so for the first, second, and fourth, which are income statement, statement of retained earnings, and statement of cash flows, these are all over the period of time. So for that, column heading or for that financial statement you would say something like for the period 
ending 12-31-2010 for the period over that time. For the balance sheet, you would say as of 12-31-2010 right here. So the example I gave you was the balance sheet is like a snapshot right here. And um, the other three types of financial statements are like a motion picture over time. Okay. Uh, the page 19, I did note that on the study guide. That is the example of the four different types of financial statements. So make sure you look at that. Over the next several weeks, we'll be kind of building those, compiling them through transactions and entries and closing process and all those different things. So you don't have to understand them fully, but make sure you give a look at that if you can. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do was um, talk about the devotional reading that I recommended for this book and for this workshop, and that is Celebration of Discipline by Richard Foster. And this is a book that's about 30 years old, and essentially what it is is it takes uh, spiritual disciplines, or as Wesley would call them, means of grace, uh, examples include meditation or prayer or fasting uh, and really works with the reader of how to implement these in, in your life. The book all total is about 200 pages and there are 13 different disciplines included. So about 12 or 15 pages per discipline and um, talking about how to implement prayer in your life or how to fast uh, and really draw on that discipline that uh, God has allowed us to draw closer to him. What I might recommend you do is there's about 13 weeks in Accounting 201 and 202 combined. If you want, uh, you feel free to check out this book. I put the link on Amazon, or I'm sure you can find it at pretty much any bookstore. It's a pretty well-known book. But uh, you could take one of these uh, disciplines each week and you know just read through his 12 or 15 pages about implementing in your life and, and see um, how that might draw you close to God as we go through these uh, first two classes. So... Celebration of Discipline by Richard Foster. Hope you check that out. And if you do, feel free to drop me a line and we can discuss. But this has been the workshop video one, uh, workshop one video. Hope to um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you again for workshop two. Thanks.